Hello friends, welcome back to Get Happy Be Fit. Disclaimer today for those of you who are watching this on YouTube or IGTV, I got a peel on Monday. So my skin is like slothing off. I honestly don't know if you can see it. I don't know. But just in case you can, I don't have a disease. <laughs> I'm just getting some skincare. And for those of you who are interested, I am vlogging the experience for my YouTube channel. So you can kind of see the process of getting a peel if you've ever been curious about getting one. And to all of you who do watch the video podcast, either on YouTube or Instagram, I want to remind you that you can subscribe on iTunes or Spotify, all the major podcast platforms, and hear the episodes two weeks before the video podcasts drop. So make sure and go subscribe and leave a five-star text review if you like it, because it helps me out. <laughs> all right, but now back to our regularly scheduled program. Last week, we talked about sticking it out when your weight loss stalls or you aren't seeing results. Today, we're going to talk about a shift in focus that can help you stay motivated and keep going when you get discouraged about a stagnant scale because one of the top reasons people give up on a workout or nutrition plan is lack of results. So I am going to challenge you to stop focusing on and looking for physical results and start focusing on the process. Make commitments and goals like, I will work out three days this week and eat more fruits and vegetables. That is a much better choice than I commit to losing one pound a week because there are just too many variables when it comes to weight and it can make you think that you're not sticking to this commitment you've made when the process is what you should be counting on. There are no variables when it comes to doing something you decide to do and have complete control over. You have control over your actions. You don't have control over that number on the scale all of the time. If you really want to create sustainable results, you have to have a lifestyle shift. You can't change until you get to your goal weight, then go back to what you were doing before. So if you're in it for the long haul, once you reach your goal weight, if your motivation is seeing the scale move, what then? Most people gain weight back because they lose the motivation to keep the lifestyle going. So if you focus on the process of working out and making healthy, sustainable nutrition choices, you're much more likely to keep that lifestyle going after you meet your weight loss goal, enabling you to keep the weight off for good. I never really put it together that that was a huge factor for me, switching my focus from losing weight to the process. And I attributed it to switching my mindset from losing weight to taking care of my body. And my focus was not on the scale and I still made commitments to work out and eat well, even hitting a certain amount of calories. And that's what I committed to every week, working out a certain number of days, hitting every body part every week, going for walks as many days as I could. And I also committed to taking time to concentrate on loving my body and getting into a good headspace. Even through my first bikini prep, my focus was on doing the work, not fixating on the results or lack thereof. Change what it is you're committing yourself to. Stop focusing on what isn't going the way you want or what you feel like you've done wrong or failed at. Concentrate on what you're doing right and the progress you've made that has nothing to do with a number on the scale. Concentrate on every victory, every workout done, every choice to get up and be active instead of vegging in front of the TV. Or maybe you need a day to veg in front of the TV because you've been pushing really hard. And then celebrate your awareness of what your body and mind need and celebrate yourself for doing what you need to take care of yourself because that's important too. 
Even if you're not seeing results yet in the form of the number on the scale dropping, the working out, the eating healthier and more consciously is all still working. You will reap health benefits from those things and eventually you will see results on the scale if you keep going and focus on getting stronger physically and as a person in general because learning to have discipline and learning to work for things even when you haven't seen results yet will yield benefits in every area of your life. So if you're feeling discouraged, if you've been pushing really hard and you're just not seeing any results on the scale and you feel like you're not looking any different, shift your focus to the process. And maybe you're doing something you hate and that's why it's so hard not to see the results. So that's why it's so important to find things that are sustainable for you. Workouts that you can do without wanting to kill yourself. That's a little extreme, but y'all know I'm dramatic. And it's just as important to pick a nutrition plan that keeps you in a caloric deficit, but that you like enough to stick to and doesn't make you wanna pull your hair out. That's probably a better analogy that's not so dark. But <laughs> I digress. You are capable of having the things you want and doing the things you want. It does not take being thin to live a happy life and to be satisfied with your body. But if losing weight is something you want to do for your health or just because you like the way you look better, Focus on the process, commit to that process, and you will see change. All right, that's all for today.